Hey guys, do you want to apply for Australian permanent residency but not sure how much money would it actually cost you? In this video, I'm going to answer that. I'll tell you the total cost of application of Australian PR. How much money would, does it actually cost in the different steps of the complete process? I'll also tell you how much money would it cost you if you are applying as a single applicant, if you're applying with a spouse or you're applying with the kids. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on the immigration process of both of these countries. I also upload videos almost every day now. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now so that you don't miss any of those videos. Okay, so before I proceed with this video, let me tell you about the other video that I just posted three weeks ago. It was about the step-by-step -step process. So in this video, I'll break down the total cost of the application into those steps that I explained in that video. I'll provide the link to that video in the description box below. If you want, you can check it out. Okay. So I, in that video, I divided the complete process into five steps. The first step was checking the eligibility. The second step was the English test. The step third was skill assessment. The fourth step was the expression of interest. The fifth step was submitting application. And after that, you are granted the PR. So now let's talk about the cost in each step. The first step, which is the eligibility check. It is free of cost. You can go online and you can check if you're actually eligible or what chances do you hold for getting the Australian PR. I made a separate video for it. I'll provide the link to that video as well in the description box. You can check it out. Okay, step two, English test. Now there are five different tests that you can choose from. IELTS, TOEFL IBT, PTE Academic, Cambridge Assessment English or Occupational English Test. Now, I checked almost all of these uh, different uh, tests. The cost for all of them is almost same. They differ a bit, but not much. Now, the cost actually might differ from one country to the other. So, I have tried to list down the costs in the Australian dollars because it's a video for the Australian PR. So for the primary applicant, it would cost you something around 250 Australian dollars. Similarly, if uh, you have a spouse as well, who's also applying in that case, the same amount for the spouse as well and for children, it's not required. Okay, now moving on the next step, the third step, which is skill assessment. So there, there are different organizations which actually do the skill assessment. So the first one is the Australian Computer Society. Not the first one actually, this is just one of them, which does the um, skill assessment of uh, the computer engineers and software engineers. So for the ACS, actually, this is the fee structure. So actually it would be end up you would be ending up spending around five hundred dollars for vitasess it is around a thousand dollars so this is uh, the exact screenshot taken from their respective websites similarly it is uh, you know it lies from five hundred dollars to one thousand dollars for the other organizations for the other skill assessment organizations as well like the medical board of australia engineers australia and the others as well if you want, you can, you know, check out which occupation do you actually belong to, which is the respective uh, skill assessment organization and check out the uh, exact amount for that and calculate your um, your cost accordingly. Now, the step four, which is the expression of interest. Now, logging expression of interest is also free of cost. So you need not worry about it. You can log the expression of interest. Uh, you don't have to pay anything for making your EOI. Okay, moving on. Step 5. Submitting the application. 
Now here is the point where you actually pay the maximum amount. This is the visa fee actually which you are now paying. So the visa fee is a more or less same for all the uh, different subclasses for 189, for 190 and also for 489 which is the uh, temporary visa. Okay, or the provisional visa actually. So it is actually 3,755 Australian dollars for the primary applicant and uh, for the spouse it's actually 1875 Australian dollars and also uh, for the kids under, under 18 years of age it's around 940 Australian dollars. Now apart from this you need to pay for state sponsorship if you're uh, getting a state nomination and uh, for that it would be around 200 Australian dollars to 300 Australian dollars it does vary from one state to the other so you have to check your uh, respective uh, state for the exact cost also you'd be uh, ending up spending money for the police clearance now it is required for the primary applicant and the spouse however it may differ from one country to the other but just a rough estimate it might cost you uh, for around 10 Australian dollars if you are residing in just one country if you're residing in the other countries as well it will cost you uh, more you know in the past like let's say two years you're, you're there in the other country it would cost you more okay medical certificate it would cost you around uh, 100 Australian dollars for each applicant now police claim certificate was not for the children However, the medical certificate is for the children as well. So yeah, you'd end up paying $300, around $300 if it is, if you have a family of three people. Now document attestation uh, would actually cost you around $50 per person, per um, primary applicant and the spouse. Okay, now the proof of funds. I made a separate video on it. Uh, I will again provide the link to that video as well in the description box if you want. You can check it out. Uh, the you might have to furnish the proof of the savings that you will have when you arrive in Australia. So it actually differs from one state to the other. So I again I can't you know tell you the exact amount, but I'll just tell you the rough amount over here. For a single applicant. You should have around fifteen to twenty thousand Australian dollars for a couple, uh, the primary and the spouse. You should have around twenty to thirty thousand Australian dollars. In a family of three, you should have around thirty to forty thousand Australian dollars. Okay, now let's do the total. So for the single applicant, you need to do your English test. Now here I have assumed that uh, you know because the skill assessment is different for different people for different occupations. Uh, I've assumed it uh, to be ACS. If you are, are, if you do actually belong to some other uh, skill assessment authority, you can calculate your exact amount accordingly. So for ACS, it's around five hundred dollars. For um, the application fee, is around three seven five five state sponsorship. If you do choose to apply for the one ninety visa, in that uh, case you'd be you'd spend at least two hundred dollars. So. Police clearance ten dollars, medical certificate hundred, and uh, document attestation fifty dollars. In total, you'll be ending up spending around five thousand Australian dollars, and you should have a savings of around fifteen thousand to twenty thousand Australian dollars. Okay, moving on. Grand total for the primary applicant and spouse or a couple. So everything. Would actually be uh, twice English test you have to pay twice if your if your spouse is actually uh, also has to get her skills asset assessed through ACS in that case you have to pay the skill assessment for ACS in case you know you're not claiming any points for her or his skill assessment in that case you need not pay for this so I mean this you have to adjust it according to your own personal condition Application fee would be additional eighteen seventy five, and also you uh, you know spend up in the police clearance certificate, medical certificate, and document attestation. In total, you would spend up around eight thousand 
uh, Australian dollars and uh, you should have a savings of around 25 to 30,000. Mind it, these are all approximate figures uh, which would give you an idea of how much amount you should actually have. Right, moving on again. So if you're a single, if you're a um, primary applicant and you want to actually migrate with your spouse and a child, in that case, you would actually need to spend around uh, 9,000 Australian dollars. Again, this is a approximate amount. Uh, exactly, I calculated it to be around uh, 8640, but roughly it would be something around, you know, 9,000. You should have some buffer definitely with you. So you should have a savings of around 30,000 to 35,000 or maybe 40,000. Uh, depending from one state to the other so guys this is the approximate total that i've told you and uh, if you know uh, i haven't converted this to indian rupees or you know um, us dollars or canadian dollars whichever country you do actually belong to you can actually convert it into that currency so you'd ha you'd get a better idea of uh, you know of the exact amount that you would actually end up spending. Also, the uh, currency, the foreign exchange rate actually keeps on changing, so I haven't given any conversion rate over here, so that you can actually uh, use it. You, you can actually do it yourself, and you can get a better idea. Also, uh, you should you have to do the adjustments in case uh, your spouse, you know is from a different uh, different background so he or she needs a different skill assessment in that case you would end up you know spending even more or even lesser it depends on you know on one con uh, one person to the other and your personal condition so thank you guys thanks thanks for watching this video i just hope that the information shared in this video was helpful to you Please do like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you.